I'm going to show you how to create a marble base just like this one. Starting right now. Uh, first of all, obviously, we want our base. Uh, the rough texture that the base comes with isn't ideal, so you can either cover this with plastic card or do what I'm about to do and just sand it straight down. So we're starting with 240 grit. Um, you probably don't need to go quite this rough, but it takes off this textured surface quite quickly, but it's still a bit too rough for our liking. So we'll go over with some 1200. Uh, it looks like 120 on the back, but it is in fact 1200. And we'll just smooth that down. And it's wet and dry paper, so it works a lot better if you wet it. Well, that will give you a smoother finish, so do it dry to start with and then do a wet sand afterwards. That gives you a really nice smooth finish uh, on which you can do your base. So all we want to do here is just score a few lines just to simulate uh, marble slabs and you can add in cuts, chips and cracks and things here as well. So what I'm doing is just scoring a few lines. Obviously, please be careful with the sharp knives. Um, turning it upside down to just really gently deepen the grooves works well, but you've, you don't want to put too much pressure because it's very easy to slip. And we'll just scrape out. And all it is is trying to get a, a deep enough groove that when we use a sculpting tool to define them, uh, they're not slipping all over the place. Essentially, if you're putting too much pressure on it, you're, you've got much more chance of injuring yourself. So don't put too much pressure and just do more passes as needed. So we just run the sculpting tools straight down the lines using the, the knife marks as a guide. And we'll just deepen those so they match the, uh, the slightly deeper grooves you get on Games Workshop bases. So once we've got something like this, what we can do is if you use the side of the tool, uh, just, just one of these blunt sculpting tools is fine. Plastic is soft. It's going to go through no problem. Um, you just want to define where the, the slabs meet. Uh, you, you want them to look like slabs rather than just score marks in plastic. And then use the edge to just trim away some of the rough sections. Uh, you'll get little bits of what they call flash and uh, uh, just little bits of plastic that will make it look rough. So once we've got rid of all of those, just give it a quick brush over some Tamiya Extra Thin. Uh, it's uh, plastic glue which uh, softens any sharp edges and makes it more like the model that sits on it. If you notice plastic moldings don't have super sharp lines, there's always a very slight softness to them, even really good ones such as Games Workshops. What we'll do is give it a quick base coat of Corax White. This is this is purely just a base. So you want about three very thin coats, try and keep it nice and smooth. And the color we're going to be putting over the top is quite pale, so Corax White works works really well as a base. That's pallid witch flesh, and again, keep it very very thin. And do you probably want about three layers, three coats, just to uh, get a really nice smooth finish. So we've got administratum grey, and we've got eshin grey. The eshin grey really isn't needed as much. Um, but the administratum definitely is. So we're just doing lines that are almost like cracks. If you think about the rock that marble's made up of, it's, as far as I'm aware, I'm not a geologist, it's lots of different types of rocks that sort of in the process of being smushed together. So you get a kind of effect uh, as if you're rolling putty around. And what we want to do is we want to turn these first lines into sort of very soft, sort of cloud-like forms. So if you get a bit of paint, a bit of thinned paint on the edge of your brush, then just move, do a side-to-side -side motion and push it towards the darkest areas, as you can see here. You'll start to create a feathered edge. Um, and 
you want to leave that to dry after each section and then keep going over it so eventually you'll the fade will match the administratum gray and they'll be sort of take on a, a sort of fluffy uh, almost wispy look to them done a few coats you'll end up with something like this now the secret to marble is to make it to make it look like it's got depth so we want to glaze over with incredibly thin uh, layer of pallid witch flesh just to really soften it again and if you want to know how to do a glaze you basically do a very very watery paint uh, get a piece of kitchen towel and dab your brush on it so all the liquid wicks away and you're just left with a very thin uh, a thin amount of paint on there so you do that I think that was about three three coats I did but you you must let it dry in between and you you can see once it's dried so it'll it'll stop going shiny um, but you're, you're dealing with such thin layers that it's not it's not pooling it shouldn't be pooling at all and what we're doing here is just defining these cracks because if you look at reference images and it's always a good idea to look at reference images marble has lots of sharper sort of almost crack like lines in it as well so uh, this is just uh, a straight administratum gray you can add in a little little drop of eshin gray if you want to and where the cracks sort of join together as well you can add a little bit of eshing gray and then we want to do another glaze of pallid witch flesh and you can see there's so little paint being left on the actual um, base but it really does make a difference another another couple of coats on there really does give it depth you're doing it's all about layers when you're talking about bases it's all about layers the more layers you add to things the, the sort of deeper and more vibrant and more realistic the effect is because things in real life aren't just completely flat surfaces so we just we've defined the where the paving slabs meet and then all you want to do is give it a brush over of some varnish now gloss works really well with this i've just used a satin because it's uh, it is much easier to photograph and much easier to video so this is just a mix very slight satiny varnish you can do i think probably about three layers is good now what i'm doing here is there was too much uniformity so all of the cracks and lines were, were too similar so each of the sections got another glaze pallid witch flesh so there's some variation between the uh, types of cracks that, that run through the rock. It just adds that just little extra touch of realism. And then just edge your base and you are done. So really hope that helped. Uh, there's the finished piece. Obviously like, subscribe, give it a go. Let me know how you get on. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.